Now let's have a little fun and go through some of the use cases for variable presets so that you can get a feel for how versatile and how powerful presets can be within a model. And in this case, we're going to use the X57 Maxwell Common Research Model. I've already defined several existing presets that have to do with the configuration of this aircraft so that you can see how you can quickly snap between individual settings. So rather than going through here and trying to find exactly where your flap hinge is located and defining it and then setting it up that way, we have presets between stowed 10 and 30 degrees where we can simply apply it. And now it moves all of the components that are associated with that into the configuration. If we want to turn that back into stowed, we simply select that preset and click apply. And this is useful in other ways. Let's say, for example, that we want to pick certain configurations for our control surfaces for maneuvers. In this case, we've set up something that may be indicative of a right turn. Well, let's apply that. You can see that we have a little bit of aileron deflection out here. We've got just a touch of rudder. We've got a little bit of elevator angle. So all of that stuff is automatically set according to a preset. You don't have to go in and individually change each of these to get the configuration that you want. Other things that you can do would be to go through a deployed position or a stowed position on the high lift propellers in this case. So there are six of these propellers on the right hand side. They're all reflected on the other side and you would have to go in and find the preset or the variable that you want to change for each and every one of these to make this happen. So in the interest of time, I'm going to select the deployed position and then clip through until after the change is made because props take a while to update. And now you can see that the propellers are in the deployed position. All of them have updated accordingly and that the variable preset has enabled you to very quickly adjust that parameter, set them in the deployed position. That might be useful for something like, say, takeoff or on a high lift approach. And you can swap between them without hunting each and every one of these little variables down. But this isn't limited to just the aircraft geometry. You can do this for things like analyses. So let's take a look at the VSP Aero settings. You can pre-record or at least save individual settings for different VSP Aero configurations. So a very simple case of this is to set the alpha that you want to start with and the mock. And you can save that as to various different settings, but any parameter that's available to you in VSP Aero can be added into this as a setting. And that includes things like your propeller speed, if you're doing rotating blades, or your thrust and power coefficients if you're doing actuator discs. All of that stuff can be saved as a variable preset configuration, where at the click of a button, all of those values are automatically set where they need to be, and you click Run in VSP Aero. So this is a demonstration of how powerful and how much time you can save yourself by setting up variable presets in an intuitive way.